I was looking there for Alison. We're just going down the list here of people who are on. There's Alison here. Who are on the list of the Celtic Trust, the Criminal Justice Committee? And they're obviously all in today in Scottish Parliament. And there's a little time gap here. When is Mr. Uh, Where's Mr. Salmon on? Let's see. We've got the TV here. Live House of Commons. We've got Scottish. We've got the Scottish one. Jim Sheridan. Still, thugs. Sacking yet again the United Convener, uh, Mark Lyons, for trumped up charges. Jim Sheridan. House of Commons there. Right, anyway, onwards and upwards. And we're going to try and contact. Is it Alison, a Liberal Democrat, a Liberal Democrat MSP, working for you in North East Scotland? Right, I'm just doing a wee interaction here on the old Twitter with the bold Paul Larkin. It's sounding good. Yeah, it will sound even better when we get you on, brother. 01414161888. We can do a three-way call if you want, David Murray. We can get him on here. Right, hold on, before we do that, and anything else, we've got this lovely lady's number here, we've just copied it in one bit, and we'll put it in here. So Sandra, that's ten minutes, so... That's First Minister's question time, isn't it? Why have they not got here? Life House of Commons. Right, so we're Thursday, right, here we go. The lovely Alison, what's her name? Good morning, Alison McGuinness, MSP. Hello, good morning. Hi. Hello. I just wanted to speak to Alison, please, if she's available. Um, she's actually just going into a meeting at the moment um, and won't be available for some time, I'm afraid. Can I help so? All right. No, it was just, my name's Tom Gold. I was phoning from a, a radio station through in Glasgow. I was just looking to get an interview. Uh, will she be available at some point today, perhaps? Um, she, oh, she's got a really busy day, to be honest. Um, she's speaking in the chamber um, this afternoon, so that um, right, right. puts a bit of a spanner in the works. Um, no can I ask, what it's, just, can I ask I what it's regarding? Yeah, no, I was just to do a, an interview in general, but I, I'll, I'll come back at a later stage, then, if that's okay. What was your own name, sorry, sir? Uh, my name is James Parry. James. Um, yeah, and is it an interview on anything specific? Well, the committee and the, the, the meeting, sorry, what happened yesterday, and obviously the, has she got a, a particular stance on the, the referendum coming up? Has she got anything to say? Is she, or just, just anything really in general, yeah. basically, James? Okay, uh, and what radio station is it you're, you're calling Glasgow from? Glasgow Radio. Online. Let's go radio. Okay. Um, can I take your number there, Tom? Certainly. 0141. Yep. 416. Yep. 1888. 1888. That's grand. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at the diary and see if we might be able to sort something in at some point. Um, yeah. But I, I very much doubt it'll be today, to be honest. Yeah, I understand that, I understand that. I mean, what days is, okay. she, is, she, what days is she in the Edinburgh office? Is it, is it better? Is it mostly? Uh, MSP, MSPs are generally down here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Okay. Um, and then it depends on, on what the business is, as to, to how busy they are and what kind of free time that they have. So. Okay, no problem then, James. Okay, thanks for your okay, time. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. So where did I get her from? Right, so hold on. Oops. Better together. Scottish Parliament, right, that's it. So back into the lovely Celtic Trust, the Criminal Justice Committee meeting. Offensive Behaviour Act. Colin Kerr. Let's see, do we have a Colin Kerr in the house? Right. So we just go in here. Search the Scottish Parliament. Parliament. Parliament na Alba. Is anybody out there speak Gaelic? Scottish Gaelic? Is there a difference between Irish Gaelic and Scottish Gaelic? Them do know? 
subtle differences I hear you say. Right, how's you know coming up here? I'm doing a search for Colin Kerr, Colin Kerr. Oh, there we go, MSP. We have something. Cooking my gas here. Right, so we're hoping to get the ball, Sandra. Full contact details. Let me see where that out. Ah, brilliant. So, for democracy in action, God willing, we've got a date with the lovely Sandra in 10 minutes. And we try to get hold of this lovely gentleman here, MSP. of Colin Keir MSP. The Scottish Parliament is now in Christmas recess. The constituency office will be open on Monday the 6th of January, although we'll have answer phone and emails checked periodically throughout the holiday period. Should you wish to do so, please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. Yes, hi. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. In case I forget to change the answer machine, it's exactly almost two months after Christmas. What is going down there? Prepared? Is this Christmas 2014 we're celebrating? The Edinburgh Western Constituency of Colin Kerr, MSP, come in. Martin Colin Mawson, if you periodically check your voicemail, this is Thomas Gold asking you to return a call. 0141 416 1888. At your service. Good day. Right. They're a bit late there, aren't they? What is going down with that nonsense? The holidays. Are they still on the holidays? I mean, I was a bit late coming back myself. But here I'm an MSP. I'm not a representative apart from the crackpot fiend your army. And then if you're a member of the crackpot fiend your army, then you know I'm terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm terribly unreliable, so, but these MSPs, two months, a month, not two, not two months, but, well, we're into February, come on, we're into February, and they're still, he's got a message machine there, Colin Kerr, of, is he Liberal Democrats? It's all yellow here, so I don't know, it's got to be yellow, the yellow-bellied Democrats, out in Edinburgh. Oh, look, yeah. No, maybe they are SNP. Maybe he is an SNP, is he? He's SNP. I can't tell. What is he? Is he SNP? Oh, he's yellow. He is SNP. I saw him SNP right now. Alright, okay, okay. So he's an SNP. Right. Shocking, shocking advertisement there for the SNP. They've got a politician that he's not updated his email. His constituency office there at Kostorfin. Oof. Oof. Wonder if he knows my good friend Mr Minty Boz. Come in Colin, do you know Minty Boz? Has he been doing your lunch recently? Two figures of the Edinburgh establishment. If we've got an Edinburgh establishment expert out there listening, then the lines are open. It's not about banging out there. Some crackpots try to get in. They keep on knocking, but they can't come in. Right, is it time to phone Sandra? It's ten minutes. We've got to get another five. Right, John Finney, we'll go down this list. Democracy in action, God willing. We're going to get a chance to speak to an MSP soon. I can feel it. Hello to the board and bold Morgan Phillips just signed in on the Skype from the huddle board. John Finney, MSP. Is that the one I was copied? Huh? John Finney, indeed. Here we go. Independent for the Highlands and Islands. You know which one of the ones who was right? There was one of them that was pretty... Mean and horrible about it. 
So Mr. Independent can stitch his office. We're going to his parliamentary office. Right. So if you've just joined us, it's ten past eleven. We've been on the, the radio for the last hour and ten minutes. With a full gamut of tunes. We've got a quarter to two phone call date with the lovely Christine Graham. We're phoning MSPs. We're going to be phoning Zion soon when we run out of the MSPs. Alistair Darling. Good morning, John Finney's office. Ah, good morning. Hello? Hello? Yes, hi. I, I'm phoning, my name's Tom Gold, uh, I'm phoning to speak to, uh, is it John Finney please? Uh -huh. uh, can I ask what's in regard to it? Yeah, I'm phoning from Glasgow Radio, I'm, I'm phoning to do an interview with Mr Finney if possible please. Uh, two seconds, I'll just see if it's available. Thank you. the BBC but I'm Finney. Hello, John Finney. Hello, Mr Finney. It is. Hi, good morning. My name's Tom Gold. I'm phoning from Glasgow Radio Online. Uh, I was just phoning regarding the Offensive Behaviour Act. Uh, yourself, you're on part of the committee, I take it, Mr Finney? Uh, the Justice Committee. Justice, Justice Committee, yes. Mm -hmm. It was just to see how it's progressing. I, I was here to ask, as I say, for five minutes of your time. Is it convenient to chat about it for a few minutes? It, well, if you if you check online, Mr. Gold, you'll see uh, where uh, that particular issue sits on the the committee's agenda. I don't recall at the moment whether it's the next meeting or the subsequent meeting that the minister's coming along to uh, speak about that. And I think it probably be inappropriate to discuss it in advance of that. Is that coming up within the next few weeks, Mr. Finney? Uh, yes, I think. Uh, as I said, I've, uh, well, bear with me, and I'll see if I can find it online. Um, it's certainly within the next uh, Parliament's recess next week. It's within the next few weeks anyway. The, and the uh, minister minister's coming come. along, is, sorry? The minister's coming along to report on that uh, particular piece of legislation at the Justice Committee in a few weeks' time. OK, no problem. No, well, it was, it was just... Uh, obviously, are you limited? does that limit yourself and what you can say about it then, Mr Finney? I was obviously here to just to get your take on it uh, for, for, obviously, my audience. Uh, who are, are, are closely related to what's happening with the, obviously, this act? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I imagine the entire population is closely uh, associated with the act. I mean, it's legislation to cover the whole of Scotland. Um, <coughs> um, I'm not quite sure where you're going with this, Mr Gold. No, no, I, I, just, just, I was indicating what you, you, sorry, what you had gave me there, uh, obviously directing me online, and obviously you, you said there uh, briefly that, you know, uh, maybe it's not. I was just checking to see what part I'm able to talk about or to comment on. You know. Uh, well, it's legislation. I've, I've no particular wish to talk about that the legislation. To be perfectly honest, because um, I think you'll find that there's plenty of information online um, about it. And as I say, the, the next important step in uh, the um, discussion on that will be the minister coming before the committee in a few weeks' time. No problem. And, and uh, well, there was a meeting in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know if you're made aware, Mr Finney, with some Celtic fans who convened and uh, just along the road from the main football ground. They've had one meeting. They sent or they, they made a, a letter to Mr Lawwell of Celtic Football Club, obviously regarding what has happened, regarding you know Celtic fans who feel that they've been unjustly uh, criminalised and penalised since this act was brought into place. And indeed, many of the, the, the complainants would have been from Celtic fans, uh, and, and obviously with yourself dealing with it, your good self, Mr Finney, you would have, you would have probably seen the bulk of that. Uh, again, last night they reconvened to discuss the the letter put back to them from Mr Lawwell of, of Celtic Football Club, and the measures now that they're reconvening another month, uh, I think about the start of March, and it was to get your take on how the, the disproportionate amount of people who feel affected by this bill are indeed Celtic fans. Well, I've listened to what you've said, Mr Gold. I'm not sure that you've listened to what I've said. Um, there, there's, there's ample information about this uh, on the, the Scottish Parliament's website. The next important...